Hey guys, so today I just want to tell you really quickly about the Maybelline soft matte lipsticks that I found. Um, a lot of people have been saying they're still having trouble finding these, but I haven't checked my other drugstores like Rite Aid, Walgreens, Target, or anything like that. I just happened to see them when I was at Meijer, which I know isn't all around the country. Um, but I did find them at Meijer for $5.79, so they'll be somewhere around that range. Maybe a little bit cheaper at Target or Walmart, like they usually are. Um, they do have a good range of colors. There's a few shades of nude, and then after these shades that I have, they go up into like deeper mauves and like bright, deep, you know, just deeper colors. Um, I only have two to show you, but there are tons of videos out there. People have done less watching like all the shades. So you can just search those if you want to find something with all the colors in it. But I just want to show you these in case you hadn't heard about them. Um, so yeah, they're a really great drugstore lipstick, um, which is kind of hard to find. Um, Revlon does make some good lipsticks, but um, these just are super pigmented. They are a matte lipstick, which is not my favorite, but like for the sake of this video, I didn't put anything over it. But the other day when I went out running errands, I wore this one and I did end up putting a little bit of some NYX Butter Gloss and Creme Brulee over it just to kind of give a little more moisture. And the color still lasted so, so well. Um, I got home and it was still on my lips. And then yesterday I wore one to church in the morning and through like Sunday school, junior church, you know, drinking water. It lasted. It didn't come off until I ate lunch which is like a hamburger and everything, so obviously it's going to come off. But I still had like kind of a stain to my lips, even after all that. So the color of these does last very, very well. And like I said, you can't easily put a gloss over it. Um, they don't start spreading outside your lips. You don't need a lip liner. Um, I probably will go back and get one of the nude shades, because... I guess I knew these were pigmented, but I guess I didn't realize how pigmented they were. They are very, very pigmented. Um, you know, like one swipe, one swipe, and you've got a lot of color. Um, I am wearing Lust for Blush right now, and I also got um, Ravishing Rose, which is a beautiful rosy pink. This, I wore this one yesterday. It's a beautiful pink obviously. Um, and then Lust for Blush, I totally like destroyed this just a few minutes ago because I accidentally put it back. I put the cap back on without twisting it all the way down. I don't know why I did that, but yeah. Lust for Blush I'm wearing right now. They are beautiful, creamy, super pigmented like I already said, and for around five bucks, you just can't beat it. So I really think this is something you guys should check out. I don't often go for the new drugstore lines of lipsticks just because a lot of them have a scent that really bothers me. Like they either smell super chemically or they have some other strong scent. Like a lot of people raved about the new Milani line that came out sometime last year or the year before. And I got one and I rarely wear it because I just can't stand the smell. And people raved about how good it smelled. But this is it, the Milani Fruit Punch. I don't know. I just, like it's almost good, but at the same time it almost makes me sick. So, like, I did open these and smell them at the store and it really barely has a scent at all. The only stronger scent I can stand in a lips in a lip product is either vanilla or mint. Anything else and I just can't stand it. Um, so yeah, these barely have a scent at all. So that's really great. I'm definitely one that, like I said, cannot stand strong, chemically gross scents. So yeah, um, I definitely think these are something you guys should check out if you're interested in getting some good new lipsticks, especially for fall. They have a good range of colors that are perfect for fall because they're super pigmented and you know, if you do like the matte lip, you can just wear it as is or you can add a lip gloss over top. 
and you'll still have that great color that lasts really well throughout the day. So I definitely think these are something you guys should check out if you can and if you want some great lipsticks from the drugstore for fall. So that is all for today's video. I just want to tell you guys about those real quick. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and make sure to follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, and all that good stuff. The links are down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!